Welcome to Retail Analysis. I am John Wright, and I am going to take you through some of the key developments that we have seen from grocery retailing from around the globe recently. Carrefour's second quarter results highlighted how it is growing globally, but how its performance in its home market is slowing ever so slightly. In France, like-for-like -like sales rose 0.9%, with supermarkets overperforming and hypermarkets underperforming slightly versus that growth rate. Carrefour noted that food like-for-like -like sales continued to improve at its hypermarkets, with its renewed focus on local products, fresh and in pricing really helping to drive growth. Internationally, Carrefour said that like-for-like -like sales rose by 2.3%, aided by Spain and the key market of Brazil. In Brazil, Carrefour said that its continued investment in its stores, which saw it renovate 25 hypermarkets to date, and the strong performance of its Atacadao format helped drive sales in the country. Another retailer that reported its second quarter results was Amazon, where revenue growth surpassed expectations, increasing by 20%. The retailer noted a number of landmark developments in its second quarter, including the opening of Amazon Mexico, the launch of Prime Free Same Day Delivery, the introduction of Prime Now in nine cities, including London, and increased investment in its fastest growing geography, India. To compete, we have seen other retailers react to Amazon's growth, with Francis Leclerc setting out plans to open a hybrid drive to be opened in 2016, Tmall.com promoting its online grocery platform in Beijing, Walmart taking full ownership of Yehaudian, and Alibaba and Unilever collaborating online in China to unlock new opportunities in that country. To hear about some of the best digital marketing innovations from retailers like the Netherlands Yumbo, the UK's Sainsbury's and Singapore-based Redmart, come to our two-day online and digital event in October in London. From the world of innovation, we've seen lots of great ideas in the last month, but I'm going to highlight three for you today such as how Asda is celebrating its 50th anniversary, with shoppers able to get involved through Twitter using the hashtag CakeMyDay, and through its CakeMyDay van traveling the country as part of its community life initiatives, celebrating the work of colleagues and surprising some fans along the way. In Croatia, Molson Coors has introduced a new beer label that shows drinkers when the bottles and cans are perfectly chilled and ready to drink. Finally, in France, System U is using augmented reality to show the provenance of products in shoppers' baskets. Cameras recognize certain products like milk and meat and display animation and product information on a large screen in store as shoppers pass by. It's a brilliant way for a retailer to involve shoppers in a digital and exciting way as they leave the store. If you're looking for inspiration from retailers globally, you can look at the stores selected by IGD's analysts following their travels around the world in the first half of 2015. You can see premium-oriented stores like De Grofer's Many Supermarket in Denmark, the Yongwei Bravo banner in China, and Waitrose New Store in Salisbury in the UK. While there are also value-driven stores too, like Winko Foods in the US, Biedronka in Poland, and Aldi's New Store in Australia. Further details are available on Retail Analysis. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you again soon.